What year was it that you started to move tickets? And I think you said it was Phoenix, right? Was it Phoenix? No, nope. Phoenix was me. That's when I first realized I was moving some tickets. Tampa. What's- Tampa, that's right. Tampa Improv. Yeah. It was a Thursday night, and I noticed that the room was packed, but they used two-for-ones on top of the sales that I had, right? Mm-hmm. So I told the manager that night, after that show, I walked up to him. I can't remember his name, but you know Tampa Improv, the short guy. Bob? I think it's Bob. Bob's yeah. been there for 20 years. Oh, I love that dude. Yeah. So cool. Wears the same outfit. Yeah, it's like, same belt. Yeah, same you're, you're just like, you're like, <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, it's like, man, have you hit profit at all or yeah. no? What's going on? <laughs> Are you, you're still working like you just now, do me a favor. started the if, business. If you do the Tampa River again, bring yeah. him a ghetto to the Getty Jack. Yeah, oh, I Pants will. belt. Yeah, <laughs> he, uh, I remember walking into his office after that show and I go, uh, no more two for ones. For the rest of the week, don't even don't even offer them, don't hand them out. And he was like, "Are you sure? Uh, it's probably gonna only be like half a room if you do that. Uh, don't you want a packed room?" And I, in my head, I'm like, "I don't want a packed room with a bunch of people that don't know who I am or didn't invest to come see me, yeah. because then they're not gonna appreciate the show. I'd rather have the people that paid to see me, and I'll build my audience that way." And uh, and it that shit worked out. It was the best gamble of my life, man. Do you, by, the, by the way, that was the first one I ever did a, a percentage deal too. And that was it 50 50? That was, yeah. 50 50 was Isn't the it first. crazy? Yeah. Because I remember you, when you first start, you get the set amount. Yeah. And then you get like bonuses. Yeah. You get like, hey, if, it's, oh. if 300 people show up, you get 500 bucks, whether yeah. it's papered or not. And I would tell everybody, I would tell my road manager, my openers, all your comps are Saturday. Yeah. We're going to guarantee I'm getting $500. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> and let him, out, let him lose. Yeah. It, my road manager got so out of control because he was so used to comps. Yeah. And then when I started selling tickets, yeah. I was like, no comps. Dude. It's coming out of my pocket. Yep. My dad was the worst. Yeah. I'd come to Cincinnati. My dad would be like, this is what he'd say to me. Hey, man. I got the, he, had, he was a FedEx driver. Oh, no. So he'd be like this. Yo, I got this guy. I'm around. He's a big fan. I go, Big fans buy tickets, Dad. Yeah, he's a guy who wants some free shit. Yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, I yep. had to cut my dad off. Even I don't. I don't think they understand what that means when they say it. Because I, I hear that from my family all the time. Oh, God, the biggest fan. No, 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 this is your biggest fan. Yeah. No, this is actually my <laughs> least favorite fan. Yeah. <laughs> That's what this one is. He does nothing for yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely nothing. I used to do. Uh, I used to do if I had friends in a city, and they'd be like, "Yo, Gary." My boy wants to come to the show. I said, all right, but he's got to buy a DVD afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Free tickets, but that motherfucker better buy some merch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Here's one I hate. This is, this is, this, oh, you're going to love this one. Is my mom will, will beg me for these comps, right? Joseph, they're biggest fans. Please let them come to your show and do the meet and greet, Joseph. Please. All right, mom. You know, I'm already dreading it, right? So this is, my, this is just the one story, all right? They come. Huge fucking line, by the way. These are all paid people, right? Here comes my mom's comps, right? Boom, they get to me, and they're acting like they did me a fucking favor. <laughs> I hate that shit. I'm like, what in the fuck kind of conversation is it? Do you think I'm an up-and-comer motherfucker? Do you not see how many fucking people came to see me? Like, I don't even know you. And then the guy was like, well, let's take a picture. Should we show your mom that we actually came? And I'm like, what? <laughs> is this guy get the fuck out of here that was the the worst that that was one of the worst ones ever man that was just like that's when i had to like stop it's like i got you can't keep doing let me ask you this let me ask you this you get you leave a friend of a friend's tickets and i'll give you an example so miguel the singer yeah came to cincy and he left my wife and my daughter and her friend left three tickets for them yeah so i were very um appreciative of free shit so we made sure we bought Everything we bought, all his T-shirts. If he had coffee mugs, everything that was at the merch thing yes. in the lobby, we bought. So afterwards, my wife goes to Miguel. He got backstage, and she goes, "She goes, oh hey, we got your hoodie." Miguel thought she said, "Can we have a hoodie?" Oh. And she said, "Gary, his face went because uh-uh. in his brain he thought I left these motherfuckers free tickets yep. and they want a hoodie." Yeah. And then she goes, "Yeah, no, 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 we got the hoodie. We bought it and yeah. showing all the shit got." They said. Miguel did a 180. He goes, oh, shit, let's get pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, it's those little things. Yeah. But isn't that the worst? You give yeah. people free shit, then they want more shit more. backstage. This one, like, here's another one I hate. You ready, Gary? That one's funny, too. <laughs> this one's even funny. You ready? <laughs> you better be bigger than one. Miguel. You're going to love this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's going to beat that one. Uh, you get the text. 
Yo, man, I heard you're in town. Yes. Hey, man, do you mind if I get some tickets? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I'll leave two, right? I never give tickets, but yeah, I'll leave two. Cool. What time is it? No, 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 that's, no. Part- <laughs> that's the story. <laughs> that's the story. That's the story. Oh, my staff's thorough. We're gonna fuck around. <laughs> yeah. Way to break the fucking pause. It was dramatic pause. <laughs> that story is better because my staff is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They- <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, wait. She said Owen. Um, that's the same one that brought you your coffee. Ah, damn it. Uh, that's the worst is when they go, they beg for tickets, and now they want directions. They want to, what time should I be there? Or, or how about uh, this text, Joe? When do doors open? No. Can I go back? To, I'm like, motherfucker, I didn't even want you here. Yeah. <laughs> I actually came to the city Joe. not knowing you lived here, motherfucker. How about this? Yes. How about they call you, Joe, and go like this? Hey, man, you know I got to support. <laughs> no support is buying tickets. You're not supporting me. And let me tell all those people out there, this is how you get free tickets. You always offer to pay. Yes. And you got to be prepared to pay yes. if it doesn't happen. The offer will get you free shit. Yes. Always. I'll always, always be like, dude, I don't mind paying, but, but you know, you're in town. If you got any free ones, great, but I don't mind paying. We're coming regardless. Yeah, cool. And, and that's from Gary. And me, um, I'm not giving any more comps. So don't even fucking ask me. I can't get a comp? No, no, I'm just talking to my... You can come. Fuck yeah, yeah, you can come.